What's up, Blue Jay fans? Rob Scott of the Jay Talking Podcast back again with another game day recap. Game two of the season. Toronto Blue Jays versus the St. Louis Cardinals. Blue Jays took the first game with a record 19 hits, 10-9 in an exciting affair. Kevin Gossman on the hill for game two, 32-year-old, 12-10 last season with a 3-3-5 ERA, 1.24 whip. Going against Jack Flaherty, a 27-year-old right-handed pitcher who can be an all-star but has had an injury plague 2022 through just 36 innings, but a career 3.41 ERA and 1.11 whip. Let's jump, let's jump right into the game. Top of the flir- first with Flaherty on the mound. You could tell he didn't have it right away. Springer grounded out and Bo flied out, but then he walked Vladdy, walked Varsho, walked Chapman, who took a great, uh, had a great at bat. He was down 0-2 and came, fought back for the walk and then belt with the bases loaded, struck out. Bottom of the first, Brandon Donovan grounds out. Alec Burleson flies out. Goldschmidt, the MVP, singles. Arenado K's, nothing, nothing after one. Top of the second now, Flaherty showing the same, uh, just lack of control. He was not even close on many pitches. Jansen walks. He then hits Biggio. But again, they, the Jays couldn't pull through. Kiermaier flies out, and Springer hits into a double play. Bottom of the second, Gorman grounds out. Tyler O'Neill K's, Walker singles. Bo, uh, a play that he bobbled a little bit. Uh, but even if he caught it, he wouldn't have made that throw. And Andrew Kneisner struck out to end the second. Nothing, nothing. Top of the third, Bo walks. Vladdy walks. Flaherty should be demolished at this point. Varsho then flies out, gets Chapman to fly out, and then belt again with two men on. Strikes out on a 3-2 pitch. He's now left with five men on base. Bottom of the third, Edmund flies out. Donovan singles. Burleson flies out, looking good for Gossman. Then Goldschmidt singles. Arenado, first and third. Uh, Arenado reached on a Chapman error, a rare error for the gold glove. This was a battle of the gold gloves at third base. Donovan scores. Gorman then rips a single. Two runs come in. O'Neill K's for that inning. Gossman, one inning, three hits, three runs, none of them earned. Top of the fourth now, Flaherty starts to starts to straighten himself out. Danny Jansen grounds out. Biggio walks again. KK pops up. Donovan with a nice catch, and then Springer K's. He has managed to get through four after having seven walks at this point. Incredible. Bottom of the fourth, Walker grounds out. Kneisner flies out. Edmund singles, and Donovan K's. Gosman. You know, he's he's doing well other than those unearned runs. Top of the fifth, Bo grounds out, Vladdy grounds out, and Varsho, K's, Flaherty, done after five innings. No hitter despite seven walks. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Burleson grounds out, Goldschmidt, K's, Arenado grounds out. One, two, three inning for Gossman. Top of the sixth now, Drew Verhagen comes in for Flaherty. Chapman K's, Belt grounds out, Jansen K's, still 3-0. Bottom of the six, Gorman singles, O'Neill singles, Gorman over to third. Walker hits into a double, uh, a ground out double play, which actually was a run scored, but they reviewed the play on the play home from Biggio, and they overruled it, double play. Kneisner then singles, and Edmund K's still 3-0. Top of seventh, Andre Pallante comes in, Biggio with a ground out. Kiermaier singles, breaks up the no-hitter. Springer, uh, fielder's choice, ground out, should have been a double play. Doesn't matter, Bo comes up and grounds out. Bottom of seven, Adam Simber in now. He gets a one, two, three inning, three straight flyouts. Top of the eights, three nothing for the three nothing for the Cardinals. Vladdy walks, Varsho walks. We get a little something going here off Jordan Hicks, who's now in the game. Hicks was terrible in game one. He is repeating that process in game two. Chapman then a fielder's choice. Now runners first and third with one out. A wild pitch now from Hicks. Allows Vladdy to score. The runner moves to second. It's now 3-1. Belt walks. Uh, uh, Nathan Lucas comes in as a pinch runner for Belt. There's then a pitching change. Ryan Helsley, the closer, comes in early to try and get five outs to finish this game. Jansen grounds out, advances the runner second to third, and Biggio grounds out. 
So it's 3-1 now. Bottom of the eighth. Eric Swanson in. Arenado singles. Gorman walks. Looking like trouble just when they're starting to fight back. O'Neal hits into a double play, though, to, to Bo. Nice play to turn that. But Walker follows up with an RBI single. Uh, now 4-1 Kneisner. Kays to finish that inning. Top of the ninth, the Jays down to their last three outs. Kiermaier singles again, second hit of the game. Springer K's. Bo singles. He gets his first hit. Runner no to third. Vladdy K's on a 3 2. And then Varsho pops up to end it. 4 1. Blue Jays lose on the pitching side. Kevin Gossman, six innings, eight hits, three runs. None of them earned. One walk, seven K's on 90 pitches. He took the loss. Adam Simber with a clean inning. And Eric Swanson with one inning, two hits, one run, one walk, one K. On the Cardinals side, Jack Flaherty gets the win. I mean, incredible. Uh, five innings, no hits, seven walks, four Ks, 95 pitches. Drew Verhagen with an inning, uh, no hits, two Ks. Andre Pallante with an inning, one hit, no runs. Jordan Hicks with a third of an inning, three walks, one run. Ryan Helsley, an inning and two-thirds, two hits, two Ks. He gets the save. At the bat, what the Blue Jays do? Well, they had three hits in the whole game following a 19-hit game. One run, 10 walks to 8 Ks. That's excellent. But 28 men left on base. They couldn't. They just couldn't find the hit when they needed it. Uh, Kiermaier was 2 for 4. He broke up the no-hitter, and Bo had the other hit. He was 1 for 4 with a walk. Vladdy was 0 for 2 with a run, 3 walks. Good game for him. Springer, as good as he was on the first game, he was 0 for 5 with 5 left on base in this game. Brandon Belt, 0 for 3 a walk, and he also left 5 men on base. For the Cardinals in their bats, they had 10 runs, uh, excuse me, 10 hits, 4 runs, 1 stolen base, 2 walks, 8 Ks. They left 13 on. The MVP, Paul Goldschmidt, was 2 for 4 with a walk and a run. Nolan Ariando was 1 for 4 with 2 runs. Gorman, 1 for 2. Uh, with two ribbies and two walks, and the rookie Jordan Walker, two for four with a ribby and a steal. Some notes, like I say, it was a battle of gold gloves there, Arenado and Chapman. Chapman made the error that allowed the three unearned runs to score, so give it in the battle of the gloves. We'll give that one to Arenado. Belt Cade twice, left five men on base. He walked with two more men on base. And just to talk about Belt, you know, because we... we we think about this offense as being so exciting and so powerful. But, you know, if we're being objective and we're being realistic here, um, the six through nine spots can turn really weak on us really quick. Um, and we have to be aware of that. Um, you know, when I listen to a lot of the information from um, Giants fans about Belt, one thing that they talked about was that as good as he could be, he was very frustrating in the sense that he wasn't aggressive enough. That was a complaint I always heard. He wasn't aggressive enough with the with his at bats, and he sat and took too many pitches. And he's also admitting that he's a, he was a little bit jumpy in game one, and he's not quite confident in himself yet uh, because of his injury to his knee. Um, so his confidence isn't there. So he's going to take some time to work through. I believe he's thirty four years old, and we want to be aware that he is not. A young person anymore in the sense of a, a sense of an athlete and uh it's something to keep an eye on um i want to talk about buck talking about velocity with jordan hicks and ryan helsley helsley put it together but those two again were bumpy as they were in the first game and we just you, you, when you watch twitter it's just so uh um especially the younger group i would say it's so obsessed with velocity and, and velocity is just, it's a one weapon, and, it, and it's meaningless if you can't locate. It doesn't matter what you throw. Uh, these guys can hit 100 miles an hour, so it's not impressive. Uh, if you can't locate, you're just a thrower, you're a max-out guy. Uh, I'm just not impressed by velocity in itself. Um, I, I love the discipline of the, of the Jays today, the 10 walks. It felt like the, when you played the Yankees when they were there, you know, mean, bad self. They just, every at-bat felt like they were 3-2. and two. They were constantly working the pitchers for the walks. And that is what I do see with this team that I think is very, very positive. Very good at-bats. 
again, they never got that hit that drove in the runs with all those guys on, which was very unfortunate. But that's a baseball, and that's that's it's just one game. And I want to knock. I want to. I want to comment on why this loss is good, uh, and it's for this reason. We get so hyped up again when I watch uh, these spaces, the content creators and people. After the one game, after that big win, now all of a sudden we're winning 110 games a season. And this is nice to resettle us and say, listen, this is a long season and it's not all going to go the way we want it to go. And that's what happened today. There was some good things that happened. Ten walks is, a, is an amazing thing to happen. Um, but the bats not being able to drive them in was a bad thing. And that's going to happen in some games. And uh, so... I think it's good. I think it's good to calm people down and say, okay, okay, we're actually in this for the long run. We're not going to just blow everybody out every night. We're not going to do all the amazing things that we did in game one. Um, and we're just going to keep coming up with magic. So this is good. This is a good team we played. It's a, it's a, it's a good balance. It's a good, it's a good uh, test to see where we are. And we lost this one. So we're one and one to start the season, and that's all it is. So game three tomorrow, check with you. I'll have a preview in the morning, so stay tuned to uh, all of my channels. I'm on YouTube, Rumble, Twitter. Thank you for watching. See you soon.